Remember the old adage, look before you leap? Maybe that warning should have been, look before you eat. Why? Because here are the top 20 most disgusting things found in food. Hotel staff doesn't take crap from anyone. They give it. This topping takes the cake. No ifs, ands, or buts. In 2008, a couple staying in an Australian hotel accused the hotel of serving them dessert topped with human feces. The crappy confection was intended to appease the angry couple after they'd complained to management about the noise coming from the hotel bar while they televised a prominent football match. A government official confirmed that fecal matter had indeed been detected in the dessert. Though separate laboratory tests conducted by an independent firm hired by the hotel failed to find any such evidence. When it comes to certain complaints, it might be better just holding it in. Rotisserie Style Larva In keeping with disturbing food finds from down under, here's another nasty condiment you surely don't want with your next meal. Just last Christmas, an Australian man was reported to have found live maggots in a pre-cooked chicken he'd purchased from a local supermarket. He immediately went to the supermarket's Facebook page to make his complaint known, after realizing he'd already eaten some of the maggots. The man said he had maggots in his mouth and then swallowed them, which is how he realized what had happened, because one was crawling around his lip. As far as anyone has heard, the supermarket in question has yet to respond to the allegations. Chowder please, and make it extra creamy. During her meal at an Irvine, California restaurant in February of 2004, a woman had complained to the server that her clam chowder was cold and requested it be promptly taken back for reheating. She and her companions alleged that their waiter's response was rather rude and belligerent, but was quick to carry out her demands nonetheless. What came back to her was certainly more than a mouthful. She quickly realized the warm clam she thought she was chewing on was actually a condom. She was reported to have rushed to the bathroom where she vomited. The climax of this story is her subsequent lawsuit filed against the restaurant seeking damages for her stress, anxiety, and depression stemming from the event. Rubbery Fries Want some more condom food? Why not try this on for size? In 2009, a report surfaced in Sweden of a 7-year-old girl being served a McDonald's combo with a lot more in it than was advertised. She found a condom amongst the fries. It obviously wasn't the toy she was expecting to find in her Happy Meal. Local law enforcement deemed the rubber caper as a health risk, but it was not disclosed whether the prophylactic was used or not. You may not be surprised to hear that food mishaps are quite common in the McDonald's restaurant empire, but you may be shocked to know this certainly isn't the only one involving a condom. Fishy Flesh-Eating Parasite in 2014, a British retiree named Paul Pulley had happily purchased a fresh bass from his local supermarket. Back home when he started to prepare the fish for dinner, he found a rather unpleasant stowaway hiding in the fish's mouth. The crustacean, later identified as a Simothoa exigua, is an invasive species of bug known for attaching itself to a fish's tongue and slowly devouring it. The supermarket reportedly reimbursed the parasitical purchase with a bottle of wine and the equivalent of a $30 gift voucher as compensation. Mr. Poli, however, still vowed never to eat fish again. Stabbing hunger pains for breakfast. After ordering her breakfast sandwich during a 2001 stop at a Burger King in Queens, New York, Angelica Cruz chomped into a painful surprise. Turns out there was more than just sausage and egg in the sandwich, as her second bite left the tip of a hypodermic needle pierced in her cheek. She reportedly sued the restaurant in state court, seeking a whopping $11 million, but the verdict has not yet been disclosed. The lawyer who represented the 22-year-old Bronx woman, at the time, stated that his client's lawsuit was easily justifiable since she had to live day to day with the constant, reasonable fear that she had contracted an infectious disease. Popeye's Chicken and Mouse Combo In 2003, WBAL-TV reported a Baltimore man, Tony Hill, found a furry friend surprise in his Popeye's Chicken Strip combo. He claimed that the first chicken strip was fine, but the second piece he bit into had more than just chicken in it. While local officials subsequently kept a close eye on possible rodent infestations, there was no evidence found to support Mr. Hill's claims that he was served a mouse strip instead of a chicken strip. Upon further investigation, however, it was revealed that the Baltimore City Health Commissioner confirmed to WBAL-TV that the restaurant in question had been closed down on two prior occasions in as many years for mouse infestation and unsanitary conditions. Maybe they should just add mouse dressing to their official menu. Would you like condiments with your order? 
Okay, one more condom story, then we'll get off the subject. Tragically, this one comes from between the buns of a McDonald's Big Mac in Easton, Pennsylvania. A local newspaper, The Morning Call, reported William Smith, age 55, filed the 1998 lawsuit against the burger franchise for emotional and physical damages after biting into a condom top Big Mac. Mr. Smith's suit was set for a civil trial a year after the event, but the case was abruptly dismissed without reason. The judge did state, however, that court documents revealed Smith did not provide any proof that he was harmed. Rat Baked Beans In 2011, a Southeast London man named Robert Howard opened a can of Sainsbury's brand baked beans that he'd purchased a few months earlier. He reported being too hungry to bother heating up the contents and chose instead to dig right in. What he first thought was a string attached to his first forkload turned out to be the dangling remains of a sauce-soaked rodent. Greenwich magistrates fined the product's producer 8,000 pounds, equivalent to 15,000 US dollars at the time. It was reported that over 12,000 tins from the same batch of beans had to be removed from sale. Upon further investigation, it was found that the critter had been boiled in the can with a belly full of starch. At least the greedy little guy died with a full stomach. Available for a limited time only, Pepsi Frog. According to a CNN report, in September of 2009, Fred DeNegri and his wife Amy found an unpleasant surprise in his newly opened can of soda. He was grilling in the backyard of his Orlando, Florida home when he cracked open a can of Diet Pepsi. He started gagging instantly after the first big gulp, partially emptying the can into a sink to discover something that resembled pink linguine dangling out of it. The couple took numerous pictures of the can's trapped contents, most of which were too big to come back out through the mouth of the can, before calling to notify the FDA and local poison control authorities. An official investigation was conducted, involving other cans from the original 36-pack of soda, as well as the Pepsi production plant that produced the batch in Orlando. A Pepsi spokesperson later confirmed that the FDA did not find any adverse conditions or association to this problem. Pink linguine? Nasty. This Subway sandwich will cut through your hunger. A million dollar lawsuit for knife baked bread? Why not? This is what New York resident John Agnesini sought after alleging he found a 7 inch serrated knife within the sandwich he'd ordered from a Manhattan Subway restaurant during a July 2008 visit. There was no record of physical harm unlike other reports of previous patrons who have actually bitten into similar sized knives in Subway sandwiches, and it was reported that Subway's insurance provider paid him a measly $20,000 settlement. The poor guy must have had a real fear of all things sharp. You think that 20 grand was put on a gift card? Better put something cold on that bloody lip. This may be the first time you've ever heard of someone being maimed by ice cream, but apparently it's not impossible. According to a KLTV report in 2011, East Texas resident Stephanie Granger was attacking a tub of Walmart's great value brand Peanut Butter Stars ice cream when it attacked her back. As she reached the coveted chocolate layer of chocolate, she bit into something unrecognizably hard. At first, she claimed to have thought it was just a piece of tinfoil, but upon closer inspection, she realized that it was actually a broken razor blade and it had sliced through her lip. Subsequent reports indicated that Miss Granger chose not to pursue legal reparations, but just wanted to let the public be better educated on the matter. According to KLTV's coverage on the matter, Walmart's initial response was a heartfelt, I'm sorry, I hope your day gets better. Fingers in your chili? No thanks. Santa Clara County Health Officer Dr. Martin Fenstersheib was called into a local Wendy's restaurant in 2005 after a patron alleged that she had nearly ingested what appeared to be a human finger from her order of chili. The woman, who requested to remain completely anonymous at the time, reported to have immediately felt ill from the ordeal of having the severed finger in her mouth. After some investigation, it turned out that the woman actually placed the severed finger in the chili herself, looking for a quick payday. Anna Ayala was charged with a felony and found guilty, resulting in jail time. It turns out she got the finger from a friend of her husband who severed it in a work accident. It was reported that Wendy's lost up to $21 million due to the bad publicity from the deceptive escapade. Teeth can ruin candy too. On January 1st, 2010, Sue Calhoun and her husband were on their way to Dallas, Texas to buy a new farm tractor. Along the way, they'd stopped at a convenience store to fill up on gas and a few snacks. 
She had brought a candy bar to eat on the way, Calhoun stated as she described the event to KLTV News. As soon as they were back on the road, she bit into her chocolatey treat. The first bite was no problem, but the second felt like it had a peanut in it. She soon recognized the foreign object as a tooth. It even had a silver filling in it. According to KLTV, the Calhouns contacted the manufacturer Mars Inc. and they promptly issued a letter of apology and some gift certificates for free candy bars. Sue may have found a tooth in a chocolate bar that day, but we bet she lost her own sweet tooth as well. Why do these coconut pieces look like maggots? Ferrero Rocher is a confectionery synonymous with delicious chocolate and quality presentation. Illinois resident Rachel Vile thought so too as she devoured half a box of the delectable treats in September of 2017. Her roommate would soon point out that there was something moving on the treat that she was about to pop in her mouth. She was quick to post pictures of the unwelcome guests on her Facebook page, crawling all over the newly unwrapped chocolates, barely distinguishable from the coconut and rice crisp coating. Word on the street is that eating insect protein is becoming a new trend, but having the choice makes all the difference. Bouncing burritos and crunching quesadillas A properly balanced diet is sure to keep a little spring in your step, but eating springs is taking things a little too far. Aja Zarimba of San Marcos, California, told KGTV News that her late 2015 event was a wake-up call about eating fast food, and not just from Taco Bell. She was more concerned that it could have easily been her young daughter who had bitten into the food and as such, much more likely to have swallowed the spring. Judging from the spring's size, it appears to have been from an employee's pen and could have easily been dropped into the food by accident. A Taco Bell representative said the franchise was investigating the incident thoroughly, but as far as Ms. Zaremba, her statement to the reporter read loud and clear, I'm just so grossed out, I don't think I'll ever come back. Black Widow's coming to a supermarket near you. Fox News reported in July of 2018 that a Branford, Connecticut woman, Laurie Fitzgerald, was enjoying a bag of fresh grapes with her 11-year-old son when she noticed something crawling inside of the bag. Upon closer inspection, she was horrified to see that it was a highly venomous Black Widow spider, easily recognizable from its red, hourglass-shaped spot on its backside. According to National Geographic, this particular breed of spider has venom that is about 15 times more deadly than a rattlesnake's. Though the spider typically uses its venom as a defense mechanism, the bite can be particularly dangerous for a young child, especially one who is hungrily thrusting their hand into a bag of grapes. The Fitzgerald certainly got off lucky this time. While we can't childproof nature, we can do our best to rinse off fresh produce. Just what's in those chicken nuggets anyway? Wouldn't it be a neat sales gimmick if McDonald's made a chicken nugget that looked like a breaded chicken head, complete with eyes, beak, and crown? A Virginia woman named Catherine Ortega may have considered that before she was serving her 8-year-old son the real, deep-fried deal. According to the ABC News coverage of her experience, Ortega said that it had a beak and it had eyes. Ortega stated that she had contacted McDonald's the night after finding the cranial concoction and was simply told she could return the chicken for a refund or another box. She held out, preferring to initiate a $100,000 lawsuit against the burger franchise. Freeze-dried veggie and Fibian medley In 2010, a Grand Lodge, Michigan resident, Marty Hoffman, opened a bag of frozen mixed vegetables that she just purchased from a local grocer. In the mix was an equally chilled frog, and according to the Lansing State Journal, her shock scream brought her husband Tim running. Hoffman said, I don't want any money. This is not the lotto. I don't want to make anybody look bad. I'm just thinking about the next person who comes along and buys a bag of frozen vegetables. The Hoffmans were quick to contact both the FDA and the vegetable vendor resulting with the immediate pulling of the product for inspection. No other little green guests were found though. Nailed it. You may have guessed that this entry has something to do with nails, and you would be correct. But these aren't mere human fingernails or toenails. No, they're the kind used to build things and hang pictures on walls. In August 2008, the UK-based Daily Mail reported a local 21-year-old woman had just been admitted into hospital after she and her fiancé had eaten a frozen entree meal of macaroni and cheese. Rebecca Shorten reported that she swallowed one of three nails that she would eventually find in her TV dinner. This was confirmed by a subsequent x-ray, but amazingly, her doctor suggested simply letting it pass through her intestines on its own. 
Stick around, we've got more just for you. So here are some more awesome videos to check out.